Belonging is simply to, to know and be known. To know and be known. We are created to be known by the Father. We are created to be known by others. Belonging means I know some people and some people know me. And I'm just so thankful that, that you're here today and I want you to know that you are known. I see you. As your pastor, I care about you. And there's often times when, when I send out texts, and, and I've been guilty of this before, like, I didn't see you here today, even though you were, and I sent you a message saying, hey, where were you? And say, I was there. Well, it's because I didn't see you, and I care about you, and I want you to know that, that you are known. Belonging means I, I, I know some people, and they know me. Like, they really know, like, they know the real me, right? How many people know the real you? They know me outside these four walls. Belonging means they know that, that, that sometimes I struggle, and sometimes I say some things that I probably shouldn't say, and sometimes I get emotional, and sometimes I'm, I'm talking about others. Sometimes I have a problem with, with this and that. Belonging means that, that there are some people that I'm doing life with, inside the church who get it, who know the real me, and they love me anyway. You understand that? Not just, how you doing today, brother? You know, we know a lot of people like that, but, but I'm talking about an intimate relationship. I think that's why James chapter 5 says this. He says, confess your sins to each other. He wants us to know one another enough that, that when we're together, we can confess Man, Kevin ticked me off today. And I know it wasn't Kevin. I came in with the wrong heart. You know, I got up and think time, I was running behind schedule. And from the moment I got up, the enemy was attacking. And I went off on Kevin. And, and I need you to pray for me because I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person that goes off on Kevin. That's being known, right? When we're able to confess the areas that we fall short in. And so many of us, we're afraid to confess because we're afraid if they know the real me, they won't like what they see. But that's just not true. I would rather spend my life with people who are themselves around me than people who put on a show. In fact, as a pastor, it's, it's oftentimes hard to find those people. Like so many people... Everything changes about them when you hang out with them. You know, their language changes. I mean, you should hang out with me and someone else that you know just for a day because you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, everything about them changes because they're hanging out with me. I want to be around people who are real, who, who are themselves, flaws and all. Because here's what I know. Hang out with me and you're going to see things that, that I can't believe he did that <laughs> right you're going to be saying pastor you need to you need to confess or you need to stop that <laughs> and I will say thank you thank you for loving me enough to tell me that because not enough people tell me that I need that type of accountability in fact when I get people like that those are the people that I want to bring in close right that's who I want to surround myself with people that'll they're not afraid to say, hey, that wasn't right. Or, hey, you need to, you know, you need to say this or, or do this. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man has great power and produces wonderful results. Confessing our sins means being known. Being known by someone. And here's the reality. Everyone here wants to be known. 